Well guys, you know, I've been doing this hosting thing for a little while now and I've got to say, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, when I first gave it a shot a few months ago, I was, I was pretty nervous and you guys made fun of my voice and stuff and, you know, that's okay. I think we've come a long way. Barrett, what are you doing? You're an editor. Get back to work. Riley, please, it's, it's National French Friday. <sighs> All right. Happy National French Friday, everybody. Microsoft has announced a new way of using its hardware and software. The Surface as a Service program will allow businesses to lease Surface devices for their employees, as well as sign up for Windows 10 and other Microsoft services on a subscription basis. There aren't a ton of details at the moment concerning how the Surface will work, but Microsoft says it will allow users access to the latest hardware and faster device refresh cycles. The new initiative is part of an overall push to get Surface hardware into the business realm, when really, business people are probably too busy filling out spreadsheets or something to even know about this. Uh, hello guys, <laughs> workaholics. The official benchmarks for the GTX 1060 have leaked and the picture they paint is of a car beating the RX 480 at every turn. Now these are the numbers given to reviewers by Nvidia, so no doubt they're using scenarios that will paint their own card in a favorable light, but it is what it is. Meanwhile, info concerning the three gigabyte variant of the 1060 have leaked from the Chinese site Benchlife. The specs look like it will be a slightly cut down version of the 1060, launching in August at a slightly lower price at 199 US. Of course, it's fun to speculate, but speculation can lead to terrible things like the Hindenburg. So we'll just wait to get the real info next week when the six gigabyte version of the card is rumored to launch. But even if the 1060 is gunning for the RX 480, things aren't too bad for AMD's current golden child. Doom recently got an update that adds support for the Vulkan graphics API, making it the first major game to get the feature as a patch rather than in beta form. Some early benchmarks of the RX 480 running Vulkan as opposed to OpenGL see the card getting not insignificant performance boosts to the tune of around 30% Meanwhile, NVIDIA's GTX 1080 and 1070 don't seem to benefit as much from running Vulkan. See? Things balance themselves out. We are all one within the iris. I don't play Overwatch. Riley wrote that, so I don't get it. But maybe I will one day when there's a sale, because I'm real cheap like that. Probably won't ever happen. It is time for... Well, that is the exact opposite of last week's submission. You certainly took the more quickly thing very seriously. Thanks for your submission. The rest of you send us a clip of yourself saying shorter news stories said more quickly than the others to get featured. Got a lot of Pokemon Go stories here. Soon, businesses will be able to pay to make their physical store a Pokestop or a gym in Pokemon Go, which would drive players to visit. Makes sense. And you can grab a snack from all the traveling across the land and such. A number of ways to cheat in the game have sprung up online, including the use of Android emulators and GPS spoofing apps on PC, which of course holds the risk of getting your account banned. Is it worth it, cheaters? On the other hand, one such cheat is being used by streamers to enable Twitch plays Pokemon Go, because that was inevitable. So, maybe cheating is the right thing to do after all. Lots to think about. Specs have leaked for the RX 470 and 460, with 470 planned to launch by the end of this month. A slide of AMD's GPU roadmap also confirms Vega's position as a high-end GPU, launching in 2017. Meanwhile, on Team Green, the GTX 1080 is expected to get a driver update this week to fix the card's issues with VR, namely the DisplayPort's incompatibility with the HTC Vive and its unwillingness to go into boost mode in VR applications. She's a stubborn mule, that one. And good news for Xbox Street. Streamers Xbox Live now supports streaming via a capture card connected to a PC because you couldn't do that before? Oh, consoles. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Paolo, you made it. I wish to you a happy birthday and may your life be awesome. Times a thousand. Times. So here's a funny situation. There are some people that subscribe to the NCIX newsletter and then every month one of them gets free stuff. Isn't that crazy? But it's true. I just spat. For instance, this month, NCIX is giving away an ASUS RT AC3100 dual band router. And all you have to do, theoretically, is subscribe to the NCIX newsletter for a chance to win. I mean, actually, it's not theoretically, it's literally what happens. If you're already subscribed, just claim your newsletter points to enter. If you don't know how to do that, or you want all the details, click here on the link 
Yeah, or, 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 or click there or on the link. Either one. You like whichever one uh, suits your personality the best. All right, that's it for NetLink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on the social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Will it make you ultimately happy in life? No, because that's a choice. But subscribing is also a choice. Ah, didn't think about it like that, did you? That's why I am here. Lots to think about.